Oh, probably, I would say 85% because some songs came to me from other producers like, we already did this record for you. And I was like, oh, I like that record. Too bad I couldn't write on it. So, so like a lot of the songs I did get a chance to write on, you're going to see my name on the credits, Chris Brown. Songs I've ri written on, is, uh, of course, is um, Kiss Kiss. Me and T-Pain did that. Um, Take You Down. Uh, a lot of songs like, I'm saying, I got a song called like Diagnosed for Love. I got a song called Back to Back. Um, it's, it's so many different songs, that's, that's crazy. Feeling me, this demonstration, I got the remedy, you feeling me. So why is you hating and why you mad at me, you I'm singing a lot more about, you know what I'm saying, me. And like maybe personal experiences with like my personal relationships with, with girls over the years. And different things like that people didn't know about. You know what I'm saying, maybe I, like I had a friend or whatever. And different issues came about, so, so. So I'm, I'm talking about it a little bit more now. Kiss Kiss, that video, that was probably the best video shoot and the worst video shoot at the same time. Uh, I, I would say it was the best because of the, of the acting and the females, there was a lot of pretty girls. We in Miami, so it was so many pretty girls on, on the set. T-Pain was there, a lot of my homies was there, my little, my two little protégés, Miles and Scooter was there. But it was the heat, that was the only thing I hated because it was middle of the summer. It was like 110 degrees. We had Letterman jackets on, wool, like, and we were dying out there. I was like, man, I'm losing all my pants. All this water weight is gone. It was fun though. I had the best time of my life. I wanted to do a video that was more, more so good guy versus bad guy. Typical school stuff, like the job versus the nerd. But at the same time, mostly the job will win over the nerd. In, in, in the real world, but I would say in a, in a perfect world, you would want the, the nerd to win the underdog to come out on top, and that's, that's how I always see it. I see myself as an underdog, so I always want to come out on top. So I play the nerd and the jock. Um, in the whole video, the jock is trying to get at the girl, and the nerd is trying to get at the girl, but you would think that she likes the jock, but she flips and, and likes the nerd, so, so the nerd wins at the end, but at the same time, it's like, it's like hilarious. Like you got the, the, the nerd dancers, you got the, all the dancers as nerds, you got the football team dancers, you got us dancing on buses. Like it's just stuff that, that brung it back to school in. Like I think they brung it in right because everybody's back to school, they dreading going, going back to school. Kids like, oh, I want to go back to school. But then when they see the video, make it seem like it's fun. Like especially like the hallway scene, we walking and like wilding out in, in the room. And it's the first day of school. So we like, we wilding out the first day of school. Then the teachers dancing with us. Like we good, this year gonna be fun. In school, I was I was the middle guy. I wasn't the jock over there. I played sports, but I wouldn't call myself the jock. I was more like the jocks that get all the girls. I was the jocks homie. Like, like you know what I'm saying? They get all the girls, I get the left though. I'm like, alright. Well, wall to wall, I actually wanted to do a song, well, do a video to the song that was kind of off off of it a little bit. I didn't want to do a song that was like, okay, you see wall to wall, you think it's gonna be in a club, everybody gonna be having girls on me like that. I was like, well, we can do that, but change it, just change the perspective. Like, I was like, okay, I'm gonna be a vampire, and I'm walking into this this tomb, like this little vampire tomb, and there's nothing but female vampires. And so, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, all of them coming from wall to wall. Vampires can fly, vampires can hang upside down. I co-directed this video with Eric White. Um, my, my concept, I just wanted to really just go different and, and really show people me growing up, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, still, I'm still here. I still haven't lost what I, what I came in the game with, you know what I'm saying? Just dancing in high energy and a lot of excitement. But with this video, I got a chance to show people that I am a great, you know what I'm saying, creative director as far as my, my ideas is coming along. Because people see it, they're like, yo, so how you get how you get that feel? I was like, I watch a lot of movies. I was looking at Blade and Underworld. I was like, I want to do something like that. But nobody really put that in a video yet. So let me try to do it the best way I can. So when I, when I got a chance to do it, I, it came out good. A lot of people was like, yo, it, it, it reminds me of Thriller. I think it gives them that feeling because of of the, the actual, my, my Letterman jacket, I had a red Letterman jacket on, just like he had one on in his video in the beginning. And, it, and it's kind of eerie, it gives you that feeling like, what's gonna happen, what's gonna happen, I'm scared, I'm scared. So I think I think that's good. And all of all the kid fans, I'm not really a vampire. I, I, I've been getting that on my emails and different things. I'm like, my daughter's scared of you because she thinks you're a vampire. No, I'm not a vampire, I'm sorry, it's in the video, just in the video.